Hey, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Adobe This tutorial will be on Adobe After Effects, and in this tutorial will be able to see how I do my tracking motion with text or any objects you want. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how I did the uh, text that uh, looks like it's floating in real life, and then it goes behind the car, and you can see it slightly through the window of my latest video on the Y Dean Rally 2012. Uh, if you haven't seen, click on the screen now and go check it out. This can be applied in several different ways in your videos, just be inventive with it and experiment with it and that's the only way you can actually really get good at it, is just continue doing it, record clips and I'm just going to go straight into the tutorial. So first of all with this clip what I have done is I have slowed it down to around about 2% using Twixter. If you do not know what that is I'll give you a link to a tutorial on how I use Twixter to slow down my videos. First of all you need to put some text down, so here's my text. So there we go, there's my text. To make the um, text floating in the air, you need to apply a track motion. If you don't have a tracker thing up here, window tracker, so it'll be up here, window tracker, and then it'll be over here. Right, now first of all, you need to create a new null object, so click layer new null object. Now you click, you must click on the um, video flower now, and then click track motion, and then make sure that your motion target is null 6. Well, that's what mine is going to be called. So make sure you go edit target and then click null 6 or null 1 if you're first starting it off. Right, first of all, you, you have one tick on the position. This is where if you want to track motion, you just want the position to stay the same. You'll only have to use one. If you want to rotation, so if your video rotates slightly and you want to keep your um, text horizontal, or keep your text in a certain position if the camera is going to be rotating, you'll have two. If you want to, if your camera's zooming out, then you'll have to have another one where it tr checks the distance between the two points to make the scale. So, well, with mine, I'll only be using the position. So now, what, what you need to do now is place this box on an object that really stands out. So what I'm going to be putting it on, it's probably going to be on this bit of black here because there's lots of white around it and it knows it will be on that blank. So next, when you've selected a bit of the film that you know it will be shown all through the all through the clip and it's very distinctive for the program to check, click this next arrow here. And what will happen is it goes frame by frame moving this with the video and it will take a while if you have a low rammed PC. So I'll just wait a minute. Right, once you're done, your uh, position should be at the end of the timeline. What you can do is move your um, position up and down the timeline and the box should be staying in this pretty much the same position as mine is. So I'm quite happy with that. And then once you're happy with that, you can press apply. Now that will apply it to the little object. And it will say X and Y and then you'll press OK. And it will take you back to the uh, video composition. Right now. What you can do is now you want to position your text where you want it to end up last. This is what I want to do. So I want it to end up slightly behind the car. So I'm going to have it starting about there. Then you select the pick width on your text and put it onto the null object you put the track motion on. And that was null 7 for me. There we go. Now if I move this video timeline a bit back, then the text should be staying in the same location. Right now. To get on to how I made the uh, text go behind the car, what I did was I used simple masking techniques, and I'll show you how I did them now. What you do is you select the text you want to uh, mask, then select the pen tool, which is G on your keyboard. Now what you're going to do is slightly draw the outline of the car, and then do several around the outside like that because you'll be might need to be able to use it. And right now, you go und under the menus of the the mask and then you click all of these buttons here. Now, right now, now you move it on a light slightly. Move it on until the text goes slightly behind the car, like it is right there. It's slightly behind the car, right there. So now you can select your selection tool, which is V on your keyboard. And now you move this back onto the car, mainly on the car like that. So there we go. So now, if you click away, it looks like it's slightly behind the car. Now, just carry on doing that for the whole. So go every half second uh, or so, and then move 
move the mask down slightly like that and then go a bit further along you can either grab at the mask completely like I am right now or if it's uh, slightly moves then you can individually select the um, little icons like this and move them about now I'm just gonna go to the end and put that there there we go so now it's totally concealed by the car and now if I select off it now if we zoom out it looks like the text goes behind the car Right now, how I made it so it looked like it was slight, it went behind into the window area here. What I did was I selected the actual text that I've just masked. Contr I controlled seed it or command seed it from Mac, and then command V'd and pasted it. And also make sure you pick whip it to null seven again. So you just select the mask, press delete, and then what I did was I zoomed in, selected the pen tool again, but went on the outside of the mirror on the window on the car here. So there we go, that's where the window is. But what I also did was I decreased the opacity, so if you press T on your keyboard, decrease the opacity a bit, so it looks like it's behind the window, and then do exactly the same thing again, was uh, go on the masks, menu, select mask, path, feather, opacity, and expansion. And then this time I see I've started at the end here, so I'm just going to reverse it. Right, I'm going to move the uh, box back over here. Now I'll let the video play on a bit more. And that pretty much, there we go, it sort of does it there. Right now if I click off, and zoom out. See, there we go. Now look, if we play it, if we watch it go... As you can see, it goes behind the car and looks like it comes out the window. And that's how I did it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to this channel where I'll be uploading my personal videos, funny videos, little little short little bursts and my tutorials and behind the scenes to my main channel videos. If you don't know what my main channel is, it's Bentley Nuts 321 there'll be an annotation on the screen now, go ahead check it out. Um, oh, that's where I put up all my proper edits and on this channel you'll just find all the tutorials and funny videos towards me. And go check out my website BentleyNuts.com for more. See you next time.